Snake season is here. Snake bite season is here as well. It's early, but dozens of people are already being treated in local emergency rooms. So far this year, at least 50 patients have received treatment at Duke, UNC, and Wake Med hospitals, including six in the last two days. Now, what you do before you get to the hospital can have a big impact on your health. WRL health reporter Grace Haba tells us the quick actions you should and should not take. North Carolina is home to six venomous snake species, but when you're bitten, you might not immediately know if it was one of those or one of the 31 non-venomous species, like Cornelius the corn snake here. Symptoms like pain and swelling, though, can be early indicators that what sunk its teeth into you is more serious. North Carolinians love the great outdoors, but experts are reminding us we are not alone. The most venomous snake bites in the United States happen in North Carolina. The state wildlife department says copperheads are the biggest culprits, making up roughly 90% of our state's venomous bites. Mostly the numbers are on the rise, you know, especially in areas where there's, there's lots of people, lots of snakes. Contrary to what you may immediately think, you shouldn't elevate your wound. Doctors say the best thing you can do is keep your bite site as still as possible and get to a hospital. There are two available antivenoms and both of them were on all the venomous pit vipers that we have. Fatal snake bites are extremely rare. Out of roughly 10,000 annual snake bites nationwide, Dr. Charles Gerardo with Duke University Hospital says less than 10 are fatal. But the doctor warns what you do before getting to an ER could cause other issues. Most of the things that people do cause harm. Even something as simple as ice, we shouldn't apply ice to it. Definitely don't cut anything. Sucking doesn't work and actually can increase the size of the wound. Do not put a tourniquet on. In severe cases, venom can cause tissue damage, which can potentially lead to loss of limb function or amputation. The good news is that most people treated with anti-venom fully recover. Grace Haba, WRAL News. That have you shaken up a little bit? <laughs> Doctors say that you should also be careful the next time you take out your trash, especially around dawn and dusk. Apparently most patients said that's when they were bitten. That's what they were doing at the time.